Rice 986 coming at you for another episode of Farming Simulator 17. Today we're going to be having a special video. We're going to be doing a garage setup for our lawn care and landscaping company that we're going to be doing. Uh, before we get started, I want to let you know I do have a giveaway on my channel going on for a $25 gift card to wherever you want it to be. Information for that will be in the description down below. I hope to be announcing it in a video coming up soon. I have actually been setting up a uh, video series that I've been working on that's been taking forever to get set up. I finally got set up, so I'm just waiting to get started on that. So until then, I will let you know and I will announce the video in that video series. Anyways, as I said, let's get on with the video. Um, today we're going to be setting up our garage, as I said, for the landscaping company. It's actually going to be a relatively easy one here we have um just a couple of small style equipment here um get started um i do have a ford dump truck here that i'm going to be using with the wood chipper um it'll actually be useful for the uh logging if we want to get wood chips you just load right up into the back of the truck and dump it wherever we need to and i have a uh, gmc it's a top kick so it's a flatbed with a uh Goose, gooseneck and a fifth wheel attachment, so that's good. So we're going to be getting started here. Um, I'm going to probably start by putting the one of my big trailers in first, which is going to be the 40-foot gooseneck that I have right over here that I've used before. Um, actually works great with this truck, so it's going to be beautiful for hauling, and we're actually going to be using it um, probably primarily in our landscaping jobs because we'll be able to hook up and load up our uh, tractors over there with our big mowers for when we're doing large scale areas so we're gonna back this in here I'm probably gonna put this one probably dead center in the middle because it's not really that bad but it's you know rather time-consuming to back up and can maneuver so it's always easier to have it right in the middle so you can just back a truck right to it and get it right out so we're gonna be bringing it right up and in And we'll bring it back almost to the wall there, but then we're going to disconnect. And then we're going to bring this out. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put, we have a uh, Chevy, or, um, the in-game pickup truck, which looks like a Ford. I have that with my trailer that I did a mod review for a... Uh, decent thing it's actually a beautiful size I actually used it for multiple type of things it can be used to small or transport our small scale equipment over here or actually when we're doing our logging we can actually load up our JCB on this trailer and it works great so we're gonna move this one in here and I'm actually gonna put this one more towards the left end of the garage here because it'll be able to be a little more maneuverable. We don't need it to be crowding up the equipment area. Um, this is, I think, I'm going to keep this side dedicated primarily for our more of our vehicles here. And we're not going to park this one in here because this is going to be, you know, our everyday pickup. So we're actually going to end up parking this over here once we're done with it. So I'm just going to move it right there for now. Um, next, I think I'm going to load up our. Um, uh, dump truck here and as I said I can use it for wood chips I have actually wood chips in it right now so I'm just fire this up and I think I'm gonna put this more on the uh, trailer side I'm not sure if you can hear me over the engine it's a rather loud engine here so I'm just gonna get this in quickly And that'll do good right there. That way we can easily pull it in and out without a problem. And I can probably put our top kick truck in there when we're ready. I'm gonna grab our I'm gonna grab our two big uh, trailers over here. I have the wood chipper and I have a uh, harvester, um, which will allow us to pick up the grass as we cut it with the uh, big tractors. And mowers so we're just going to load up on that and we can probably just put these right next to the trailers it's not going to be too much of a problem here so we just bring it right in here I 
again we're looking for these to be an easy access for us so we can easily get these stuff out because we don't want to be maneuvering around all of our equipment and a little more drop the axle and I'll actually bring the wood chipper in here real quick and we'll bring our truck around here and the wood chipper we can just put right next to the harvester there. It won't be any kind of a problem for us. That way all of our stuff that need to be hooked up to a trailer we can just easily grab them from right here. It's not any kind of problem. And that looks to be good. We'll put the trailer down. And actually that will be all that we'll need this truck for. So we're going to back this into its spot right over here. Which is actually going to be relatively decent. We're going to bring it a little further back. So we do need to access the space over here. Beside it we can. If we need to load something over there we do have that space. Um, next I'm going to bring in our big tractor mowers here. These will actually be pretty decent for us to load in particularly. Um, these will be easy to maneuver in and out, so I think these will be perfect more towards a corner. So just bring it right over here. And we're just going to drop that so we don't waste our the hydraulics in our truck and then we're going to just grab the other one we'll put it right next to it and again I have two of them because I might have sea morgues joining me for the several different types of videos uh, that we might need so I do have two which will work perfectly again pretty decently lined up and then we just need to get our two mowers I'm thinking for our mowers we might be able to put them more towards um, this back end right over here because we're not going to uh, need them as often but we will use them for the smaller areas um, so we're going to bring those in here. They're both sit-on mowers. Which one uh, works excellently, so we'll bring these in here. They'll do good there. And we'll just bring our other one right over here. Put this one right next to it. And then, last but not least, we have our JCB over here, which we'll use for cutting down different sized trees. Um, in addition, we can also use it for other types of tasks in the future for our company here. So, we're going to bring this in here. And I think I'm actually going to put it more on the uh, left side. Here, I can probably just put this over here by our toolkits. I can drop our attachment. I get just park this right here, just like that. And that should be it. The uh, setup of the garage is done relatively decently. And I actually do enjoy this garage because not only is it a large uh, size garage, but the doors work. And it's not my favorite types of style doors, but they'll do the job correctly. And when you do have the nighttime situations, you do have access to a um, lights. 
so it makes everything a lot easier um, to access with multiple switches all around the garage here um, so that's going to be it for this episode um, I hope you enjoyed if you want to see more diff uh, videos like this be sure to leave a comment down below if you want to enter the giveaway all you got to do is uh, remember to subscribe comment and like this video until next time I will see you on our next episode